coming back home from like NCs, I um, had Coach Campbell, you know, sending me the workouts, sending me what I need to do just to prepare myself for trials. Um, and so once once I got there, all I had to do was just execute and do what I do best. And um, I knew my starts were, you know, on like on point at this point, and uh, I just had to go out there and execute, like just just get the way like I've been doing it all year. And so once I did do that, I, I you know I got up, like stood up in the race, and like I realized Andre uh, DeGrasse, who, who, you know, a good friend of mine, realized he wasn't there. Like, I couldn't see him, and so I just thought, okay, I have to be running something, you know, something fast. And then as he always does, he pulled up the last maybe twenty meters, and you know, just passed me. But um, I looked, I saw his time come up ten oh eight, and I knew, like right then, I was like, okay, I wasn't that far behind, so I must have had got to run a PR. Hopefully, I was just hoping it was the Olympic standard, and when I found out it was the Olympic standard, I just like I was in shock. Like, I couldn't even, re I didn't have time to react. I just kind of looked at it and I was like, yes. And then I like, started walking back, and Andre and I were joking and, and walking back, and uh, it was a great feeling. And then the final came up a couple hours later, and uh, didn't have the start I wanted to have, but I was still able to hold my own against like Andre, Aaron, uh, Kim, all three guys who ran the ended up running the, the 100 um, at the Olympics and. I came forth there, and uh, after that race, I uh, I was on the table because my hip was kind of my groin was kind of sore. So I was on the table getting out of massage, and uh, Glenn Roy, the, the relay coach, came up to me and he goes, "Did you sign a uh, relay form?" And I looked at him, I was like, "No, I didn't sign any relay form." He goes, "Okay, we have to get you to do that." And he pats me on the chest and like walks away. And so as I'm on the table, it's like it just kind of that's when it that was when it hit me that like I'm going to the Olympics, and like I was on the table and I just started crying because like. This has been a dream for the last four years, and like I told my mom, when I watched the last four I won that I was going to go to the Olympics. And so when he said that to me, I just kind of started crying on the table, and uh, yeah, it was a great feeling. When we, so when we got there, the first day we went to the village, and seeing the Canada building, I was just so excited, because I was like, ah, this is what I'm about to be for the next month. Um, this is where everything is going to go down, and I was just excited to be there. Um, we went to a training camp uh, the day after, just to train for about uh, 10 days or so. Um, once I was done heading back to the village and that's when it you know, got real because you know, the opening ceremonies had happened and all this had happened and events had already started going off so we were just, I was specifically just waiting to get my chance to run in the 4x1 um, the rest of the guys who were running the individual event we were, ran much before I did and I just, all I could do was support them and keep training We had a meet in London before, um, a diamond league meet in London and I ran the second leg there and it was just like, that was the biggest crowd by far I've ever run in front of it. So um, to have that experience going into the Olympics definitely helped because, because I was prepared for it. Um, so once we, once Glenroy told me I was running anchor, I was kind of, I was a little bit nervous, of course, because I hadn't run anchor all year. I've been running second leg even in school. So uh, to be told I was running anchor, I was like, okay, just, you know, just relax, just focus. Just the same thing I did in London. Um, and uh, so when I got out there, I heard the crowd. Um, knew my parents were out there, so I was kind of, I was a little bit kind of looking for them because in London I couldn't even look up. I was that nervous and scared about of the crowd. But at the Olympics, I was just kind of like, all right, just take it in, you know, enjoy, it, enjoy yourself, and go out there, and have fun. So I was actually looking for my parents and like just kind of looking around the crowd, taking it all in. Um, and then once the gun went, you know, just did what we've been practicing for the last, I don't know how long we've been practicing the relay. And uh, once Brendan was coming into me, I saw him reacted and just went, and uh, I felt. That was probably the fastest I'd felt running. I mean, it was so easy for me to, to run that last leg, and it just felt so efficient to me, and I was, I was happy and proud of how I ran. The day of the final, was, we had to run at 10 o'clock, and so I had to go there and warm up anyway, just in case anything happened. Um, so once we finished warming up, they did their handoffs, and they headed off, said good luck to them, and I was still at the warm-up track. They had a big screen TV at the warm-up track where you can watch the relays or any other event. And uh, so the gun goes, and you know my heart was pounding because it felt like I was I was running, but I wasn't just because you know it's a team. So um, I was watching them run, and I watched as Brendan was coming into Andre, and I was like, if Brendan can get us in a like third place, we're meddling, you know, with with Andre. So um, I I watched, and we were actually I think we were maybe fifth or sixth actually going into Andre's leg, and and when Andre didn't react the way he normally does. I just got so scared and I started screaming at the TV and I was screaming like yelling at the top. I actually lost my voice that night, like yelling at the top of my lungs. And I saw they came forth and I was like, I was like, all right, you know, kind of put my head down. And I was a little disappointed because we we all wanted it, we wanted it so bad. We've been talking about it for a long time, and so I was a little upset. You know, just kind of grabbed my stuff and went to wait by the gate for them to come out and just congratulate them anyway. 
Um, they brought the Canadian record, so it was it was it was something to be proud of. And uh, so as I was talking to one of the coaches, and you know, kind of trying to get me to chair up a little bit, um, I hear two of the USA, uh, I don't know who they were, but two USA people just running by, well, we got disqualified, we got disqualified. And so I just kind of looked over, I was like, wait, what? And I looked at the coach and he was like, wait, what did they say? So I pull out my phone because we have this app that like has the live results. So I pull out my phone just to look at, you know, what was going on. And so I saw it and it said USA had been disqualified. And at that moment, I just started bawling my eyes out. Like I was staring at the screen and they were showing the guys like um, as they were doing an interview. And like they all, all three, like all four of them looked up at the screen and they like, you could see the look on their face and I was like, oh my God, it's official. And so I kind of just like stood there, like covered my mouth and just started crying. Like it was, I don't even know how to explain the feeling. It was unbelievable. Like I just started crying and then uh, they came to the, they came back there. Actually, no, they didn't come back there. They let me go to around the press conference area. We had a press conference that night. Uh, the next day we went for our, uh, next day we went for our medals. And so they, the four of them went out there to get their medal and I was kind of, in the back just to grab my medal. So yeah, I got the bronze uh, medal and they gave us a little kind of gift thing, I guess. And and yeah, it's been, I don't know, my Olympic dream came true with my first Olympics. And so it wasn't, it wasn't I mean, it's something I wanted, but not, I could have never imagined like my season ending this way, especially with how it went even, even here at school. So yeah. <laughs>